everybody, this is the Lighthouse Hall of Fame film from the North American server. We are in Highway, Standard Mode, South Spawn. I am in my VK1602, and I'm letting you show the countdown so you can see how I tell people where I'm going to go. I'm saying spotting north, and then I'm clicking on the three squares where I'm expecting to see spots. We have one artillery apiece, three lights on the enemy team, one scout on mine, a lot of TDs in this battle. So off I go, watching to see how many people come with me. Got at least three or four, maybe three. Ooh, a lot of the TDs are coming this way. Take a little shortcut across this dip. And off I head down toward this. I always look for that red tree right there. Head for that red tree and you come in right where you want to be. There's an ST-39 moving north. I already spot. Ninety-three away. I'm just shooting at him. This was a weird battle. It kind of came out of nowhere because it was late at night. I was off doing some other things on the computer, and um, I went to check email before I went to bed. And I accidentally hit the World of Tanks button. I was like, "Hey, as long as I'm here, I'm going to play a game." And then this happened. Here's the ELC down south of me. And the Hetzer. I can get rid of the Hetzer. I'm going to try to do it. Because I hate those things. They hit hard. So two quick kills. There's a 100 block. Either back up or you die, dude. Well, you could disappear too. That works. Oops, there you are again. Now all I have to do is hit you. Enemy armor is damaged. And I run the five centimeter on on this um tank. On my European BK sixteen oh two, I run the three centimeter auto kill, so I get to play both of them. He's coming straight at me. I don't really have a choice but to shoot him. I'll give him up to my teammates and take out the CSC. Hey, the light's still alive, so back to get to come and answer. Come around the building here, I should have a good shot on him. If he's still alive. He is, four kills. We're ahead four to one, and I have all four kills. And I'm thinking, wow, this could be a cool mission. What if it keeps going the way it is right now? I know the 100 Yankees over there, and he's pretty well hurt. He had moved over this way. So I'm going to sit here for a while and see if anybody lights up. Hey, the other heads are nice. Or the Hellcat, I mean. Penetration. Darn, somebody else got a kill, so it's not I'm not gonna get all fifteen. Oh well. I'm gonna try to push up the middle and see what I can see. I know two at least two of their TDs are got pushed backwards over here, so there should be a good split up here I can explore. Checking out to see if I can shoot the three thousand one as I go. I guess he's the T thirty four eighty five. But um oh no, it's the heavy, three thousand one heavy. There's the Hellcat dying, and here's the Bishop. Time to come in on the Bishop. I don't expect him to be looking at me. And he's not. Ouch, somebody popped him off to the Crusader. He's hit me. He's not hurt me. Two to go. Let's see 
if I can get over there in time to get some shots off on him. The uh, nobody else is close to him, but the 100 Yankee dies now. Where's the Yacht Pencil for? We haven't seen him yet. I think he's hiding us somewhere up here, but I don't know where. Ouch. Well, that'll do it. Right on top of him. He gets one shot, and then he gets to die. Of course, I think I get to kill him. Nobody else is close. So for this battle, I end up with 2,412 points of damage, 6 kills, 46 of 58 shooting, 79%. Got 748 assisted damage in 8 spots. Lost 46,337 credits. Survived the fight. Got Top Gun, High Caliber, and a Naden's Medal because I killed three or more all of their scouts, and there were three more scouts. Then I got Bruiser, Duelist, and Fire for Effect Mini Medals. I was awarded 2,250 XP, and with the bonuses, I have a 8th place battle score of 2,335. Not bad for accidentally logging into the game and just playing one more before I went to bed. And believe me, after this one, I just said, that's it. I was granted one good game. I need to go to sleep and not ruin my good mood. So off I went. Pull up here into this bush. That is a favorite bush for... Um, Sebastian Potato as well. As a matter of fact, I used to go up here when I saw how good he was getting good results. He was getting down here. I've started to go this way, and it's awesome. If you don't go there, try it out. It's great. Sometimes you get seen from people pushing this way, but as long as you beat them down there and you pick the times that you fire, you can have great results down there if you have any kind of backup behind you. Got four quick kills because of the way they were spread around the map. I was able to get a bunch of damage back off two different TDs down here. And that opened up the field for me to just come up the middle. Got a kill on it. On a uh, on the um, light over here almost took out the artillery as well. But the heavy took them out for me. And then there was only one TD left. So I started moving up the railroad tracks. I thought he was going to be in the bushes up here. Surprise, he was in the bush right here. He managed to get one shot off on me. And that was all he gets because I was under a full head of steam. So I was to his flank and behind him before he could rotate and fire again. And from that point, he has nothing to back up against to shrug me off him. So he dies. A very easy fight. Like I said, if you've never tried this spotting bush I went to and you see Sebastian Potato and several other people go to, check it out because it's a great place to go. Um, you saw me after I got done firing right here. I moved down against the, um, the tower. There's another bush with concrete protection. That's like the secondary place you go to. And from there, you can decide whether you want to go this way, go this way, come back and defend or whatever. You're right in the middle of the field. So it gives you great ability to um, continue in whatever direction you need to go to help out in the fight or exploit gaps. From Highway, glad I stayed up for that one more fight because it worked out well. Happy hunting.